Hello. Twenk 32 is an adventure game placed on a long line of luminous points, which in this case is a LED strip with WS2812 LEDs. With the help of a flexible joysticks, the player must move his character, one of the LEDs, in one dimensional line world. The player will have to overcome obstacles and face enemies in order to find the exit. Uh, the game is played on a 100 1000 unit line. The position of enemies, the player, lava, etc. range from 0 to 1000. The less that represent them are derived using the get led, get led function. Regardless of the number of less, everything takes place in this 1000 unit white line. This project is inspired by Line Wobbler game by Robin Baumgarten and the original GitHub page is given in the text. I made small modification by making a custom case and I used a spring that I managed to find in my workshop. The downside is that the LED strip takes up a lot of space which is quite impractical, impractical as a standard LED strip can contain up to 144 LEDs per meter. For this purpose, I used the RGB programmable LED strip from DF Robot, which contains 166 LEDs uh, with a length of only 50 cm. And, it is, and these LEDs are compatible with WS2812B. Uh, the, extra, the extra space required is reduced by the strip extending at an angle of 60% upwards after half its length. The controller uses a spring and an accelerometer and is surprisingly precise joystick with a unique, unique wobble action. It is this wobble action that is core to the experience while game playing. As I mentioned before, the device is very simple to build and contains only a few components. ESP32 based microcontroller board, uh, PM, PAM 8403 small D-class amplifier board, next buzzer, MPU 6050 6-axis motion tracking device which is located at the top of the joystick, and a LED strip that contains from 60 to 1000 LEDs, in this case it contains 166 LEDs which is a quite a sufficient number for comfortable playing. Uh, first, we need to compile and upload the firmware using Arduino ID. This procedure has been explained many times before, so now I will present the basic steps. In order to do that, we need to install Arduino Core for ESP32 and then Fastlet and running Median libraries. Now, now download the Twang32 sketch source files and all of the files should be placed in a folder called Twang32. You need to uncomment in config.h in front of the line for the strip type you have. Make sure only one of the defined lines is uncommented. Next open the settings, settings.h file in the same folder as twang32 you know, Change the defined num less to the LED count you plan to use. This says the default number of LEDs in your strip. After that compile and upload the firmware. This could take several minutes to compile. Under the tools boards menu select the ESP32 dev board. Connect the ESP to, you, to your computer, select the correct COM port from the tools port menu and click on the upload button. And now let's see how the device works in reality. And now let's see how the device works in reality. Uh, the game consists of 20 levels where each subsequent level is more difficult than the previous one. By moving the joystick uh, forward and backward, the green LED player diode, diode also moves. The speed of movement of movement increases in proportion to the increasing in angle. If we tilt the joystick side to side or wobble it, the weapon that destroys the enemy is activated. If there is no action after 20 seconds, demo mode is activated during uh, which various patterns on the LED bar are changed.
Uh, if you take a closer look at the code, in the void uh, load level section, there is a commented tutorial of editing or creating new levels of your own. This is the demo mode. The game also has a Wi-Fi access port to get game statistics. We need connect a smartphone or computer to see them. You can update these settings over Wi-Fi. LED counter, LED brightness, audio volume, joystick dead zone, attack threshold, and life spare level. Unlike the original, where the box is made on a 3D printer, I mounted it in a situable box made of a PVC board with a thickness of 3mm because for me it was a simpler solution. And now let's see how this device is made.